Now that we've got our fuse igniter for our smoke bomb running on a breadboard, let's have a look at the code that I've come up with. This is still in the early stages, going to be cleaned up some and modified some as I add different hardware to the setup. Um, but up here are just some comments on the licensing and, and how to set up the board. And here we're going to uh, initiate our variables for the different pins we're going to use. Pin 2 is what I have set up as uh, what's connected to the transistor, which is going to ignite the fuse. These other five pins, pins 13 down to 9, are going to be uh, basically our timer, our five LEDs that blink. Uh, the first one, they all come on, and then they blink, and then we'll get into that further down in the code, so I'm not even going to go over it now. Uh, then we're going to run the setup, which initializes all those pins that we've created up here. And then we start our main loop, our void loop. And what we got here is we got our first code turns on all our LEDs. So that's what these lines do. It turns them all five of the timer LEDs on, sets them to high. Then it takes pin 13, which is our LED pin 1 on here. I know I numbered it kind of funny, but it's our first pin that flashes. That's why I named it that. It turns it off for a third of a second, then on for a third of a second, then off. So basically it will flash three times and then go off. Then the second pin will flash three times and then go off. Third pin, fourth pin, fifth pin, same thing. Once they all flash like that, then they all will flash at the same time, on and off, three times. And then it will wait one second, and then it will ignite our, uh, our fuse, which is what does down here. We're writing to LED pin, which is pin two, which is actually to our transistor. Uh, which will allow the flow from the 5 volt on the Arduino board to flow through, hitting our E-fuse or electronic match, and igniting the fuse on our smoke bomb. So the code's pretty straightforward. Once again, it's, it's a little long. I could probably put these into functions and clean them up. Um, the main reason I didn't do that, although I may in the future, is because uh, my final uh, idea of this is going to have a seven-segment LED countdown rather than flashing LEDs, as well as a... Uh, uh, beeping speaker uh, so I didn't waste too much time fixing this up since it's probably all going to get removed and replaced with something else in the final product but I'll post this code in the description of this video and um, I hope you have a look at it and I hope that you have a safe 4th of July when it comes around and that this code allows you to uh, keep your distance from your fireworks while you're igniting them like once I said in earlier videos uh, this is basically just replacing you can buy remote fuses and the, the fuses that I buy you can actually buy the unit that goes with this and we're just kind of recreating that with the Arduino board because that's what we do we're hackers we like to do things our own way take them apart or build them ourselves and that's what we're doing here um, and I do want to note once again when you're doing this the one of the reasons I chose pin 2 not that it really matters which pin you use uh, digital pin you use just don't use pin 13 as your igniter reason for that is pin 13 flashes immediately when the board is turned on just for an instant and you will light the fuse as soon as you turn on the board if you use pin 13 as your igniter so to use any other pin other than that uh, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial hope you watch uh, enjoy watching my videos and uh, we're probably gonna go through a little bit more in the coming weeks as we get closer to 4th of July on uh, improving this project uh, I've had a lot of fun working on this project, and I hope you had a lot of fun watching it. Stay safe. Uh, fireworks can be dangerous. And visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this.